Okay guys, I'm doing a review. Uh, I've been sent this drone from GearBest and it is uh, known on the internet as an 8807. See the number right here, a couple of different models. Um, I definitely want the white model. I, I haven't even seen that online, but it, there's a picture of it on this box. Um, FPV barometer, it's got altitude hold. Uh, headless mode, it does some flips, got a pretty good 720 HD camera. It says optical flow positioning. Uh, I don't think it has all that. I think it's just for, for labeling purposes. Pretty good package in there. It's not bad. Um, blast through this. It's, uh, this is my hand. A good size comparison. Uh, the controller is about that size. It's pretty small. Really compact. I like it. Uh, some folding legs, folding arms. Not too bad. Fold it out like that, and that's uh, pretty much it. Give you an idea. It's not as big as the the Mavic. Uh, it's probably more like the uh, the newer one. So, power button is on top. Got some cool LEDs where you can see it. Red in the front, green in the back. The camera right here. Uh, when I got mine, the camera was upside down when I turned it on the first time. I took this apart, rotated the lens, put it back together. Not a big deal. Um, battery compartment just flips open. You can put a screw in it if you want to. I don't really see a purpose. Um, it's got a 900 milliamp battery with a JST connector. Uh, the Wi-Fi is sent from the drone to your phone. Here's the controller, power button here. Um, these are all trim buttons. Um, I don't remember what all these are just yet, but I'm learning. I'm more or less going to tell you how it flies and how it works. Comes with some prop guards, um, which I haven't put on yet. Let's see what like not bad, not bad at all. Um, I don't really use them. Tell some extra blades. Comes with a screwdriver, which I use to take the camera apart. Prop caps. Um, on the back of the controller, there was a blank here. This square item. It just snaps out, and in place of it phone holder. I'm going to put it right here. Hold my iPhone 6. Alright, so the drone is on. We're going to go to the Wi-Fi and HTS is the name of it. Uh, the app is called HTS UFO. power and it turns on see there you are it's in there it's pretty good 720 um, the only negative that I can really find camera wise is there's no SD card in the drone it just Wi-Fi to, th to the phone so uh, if there's a glitch if you see a glitch there's gonna be a glitch in the video so um you hit your power button on your controller and it's like most if you've ever had a Sima or anything any of those down or up down sorry um, it has a one button takeoff right here let's see if we can learn this real fast um, you can do it from here that middle button right there is one button takeoff um, let's see but it doesn't really tell you on the controller, so that's the hard part. It's figuring out that. It's got one key takeoff, one key landing, emergency stop, 360 roll. Um, I don't know which ones. These are trim buttons. That's one key takeoff. Um, I don't know. Let's, what do these do? That's a picture on the left. And 
that's video record on the right there we go so we just learned that um, I think let's see what do these do Ooh. so that manually starts the motors Woo. so if you just want to manually take off but it's obviously it's got altitude hold and as you've seen it's, it's a pretty stable stable thing um whew, let me get my hand on it while we're learning some things i think that's the flip button i think if you hit that in a direction in the air it flips so uh I don't know. It's a pretty good rig. It's pretty stable. Um, I like it. I'll throw some footage in flying it around the house. Uh, definitely a, a good indoor uh, flyer. Let's see. Good stable. And you know, I actually don't feel uncomfortable taking my eyes off of it, which is uh, a new thing. Alright guys, that's the 8807 from GearBest, and uh, I recommend it. It's not bad. Um, the video is not too bad either. I wish it was 1080. Uh, I believe a 1080 camera could have been stuffed into this thing. Um, I don't know about battery life, but some of the other videos say 7-8 minutes. So uh, check it out. Later.